Hi, hello, I am Hari Priya, Assistant Professor, Department of Costume Design and Fashion. In this video, we are going to see in uh, Fundamentals of Apparel Designing. As a part, we are going to see about the terminologies, that means the colors. So, in the colors, what are all the introduction, what we can, how the color has been introduced, or what are all the purpose of colors. So, we are going to see about that. So, next, terminologies related to colors. Next, type of colors. And finally, the conclusion. So, introduction. Introduction is a design feature that frames the faces. It is added to the garment neck edge to create the variations in the line shape color or texture in order to enhance its appearance proportions and the shapes are critical in the success of a collar it serves to finish the raw edges at the neckline collars are usually made of double layers of fabric with or without an interfacing in every collar one must distinguish the over outer edge and the inner edge of the collar the set of the collar that is the way it it lies and it fits at the neck depends on the shape or the inner edge of inner edge or sewing on edge this in turn depends on the difference in the length between the two edges the collar is attached to the neckline with the outer edge hanging free so next the terminology is related to collar so first one is collar type Determined by the shape of the collar neckline, the shape of a collar neckline directly affects how a collar relates to the wearer body. A collar may lie flat against the bodies of the garment or it may stand up partially or entirely against the wearer's neck. So this is collar type. Next neckline. The edge of the collar that is attached to the garment, it is of the same length as the garment neckline. And always marked with notches that corresponds to the garment neckline. Next, collar style. Determined by the shape of the outer edge of the collar. Next, style line. Outer edge of the collar created by the designer. The collar stand. The collar rises above the garment neckline that lies against the wearer neck. A collar may be designed to have no stand or to be full stand. Next, fall. Part of the collar that extended from the top of the stand to the neckline or below to the become the outer part of the collar. It must be a wide or wider than the stand in order to cover the neck seam line. Next, roll line. Formed where the collar stand and the fall meet. The line at which the collar turns down. Break point. The point at which a lapel turn back on itself. Upper collar. Outer visible part of the collar. Out under collar. Inner or under part of the collar. The outer seam line of the collar should roll to the under side under and not in the finished product next the types of collar so in the types of collar there are four basic collar types one is flat collar full collar full roll collar convertible collar partial roll so first flat collar a flat collar lies against the body and has no stand However, a slight roll in is produced so that the collar covers the neck seam line. Example, a Peter Pan collar which lies perfectly flat and has no roll at all. Flat collars, however, can be of any shape that is square or pointed. Next, Peter Pan collar. When the end of the flat collars are rounded and the flat collars is referred to as a Peter Pan collar. The collar can be designed to have a rounded end at the front only and or at the top front, top the front and back if the separated collar is planned. Next, sailor collar. The sailor collar is a flat collar with a V in the front and a square at the back. 
So next, Bharata collar. A Bharata collar is a wide flat collar that extends to the shoulder or beyond to create a capelet effect. Often a Batharol collar is attached to the slightly lower round or a boat neckline with the body's features either a front or back open. Next, full roll collar. The full roll collar has a full stand and a fall at the center back with a stand tapering to, tapering to nothing at end center front. The neckline edge of the full roll collar is a straight line. These are always developed by drafting from body's neckline measurements taken from the basic sloper. Garment neckline and the collar neckline are of same length. Next, convertible collar. A convertible collar may be worn closed by it, closed with the garment buttoned or zipped together at center front or open to create a collar or a lapel effect. The turned back upper part of the body that begins above the garment closure is called as a lapel. Next, mandarin collar. The mandarin collar is a narrow standing band usually 1 to 1.5 inch width because the collar is narrow. It stands up and has no fall. It can be shortened to separate at the center front, lengthened to include a front button, button hole extension or meet at center front. In addition, the front corners can be square or round. This collar can also be referred to as a Chinese Nehru or military collar. So finally, we have concluded this video. In this video, we have seen about the collar, terminologies used in the collars and the types of collars. Thank you.